Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols. This video will show you how to access some of the most common symbols you'll be using in Microsoft PowerPoint. So first of all, open up PowerPoint like I have here. As you may be able to see, I have a Mac, so I do have PowerPoint for Mac, but the principles will be exactly the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So we're going to look at symbols, particularly the degrees symbol for temperatures and angles, and also Greek letters. So I'm going to start with degrees. So let me write down a temperature, let's say um, 26, and I want this to be a degree, or it could be an angle as well. So I find the degree symbol by clicking on the flag at the top bar of my Mac, so this flag here. This is the keyboard input button, and if you don't have it, you can enable it by going to System Preferences, and this is on a Mac, going to Keyboard, Input Sources, and at the bottom you can see it says Show Input Menu in Menu Bar. Make sure that's ticked. So if I untick it, you can see my flag disappears, and when I tick it again, my flag reappears. OK, so I click on my flag, and I go to Show Emoji and Symbols. And this will bring up a detailed symbol browser. So to get the degree symbol, we click on Punctuation on the left, and find the degree symbol, which is this one here, the degree sign. And to add it to my document or my PowerPoint, I double click it. There we go, double clicked, and now I have 26 degrees on my PowerPoint. Now Greek letters can also be found in this menu under math symbols. So if I go to math symbols on this left hand bar and scroll down, you can see there's a lot of symbols, but eventually I will get to my Greek letters. So I can choose which Greek letters I want. So, for example, maybe if I'm calculating the perimeter, the circumference of a circle, what I can do is I can find pi there. And you can also use pi for all different things. This is just one example. So to add it to your document, you just click on the symbol. So if I find pi, it's this one here, and like I said, maybe I want circumference, so it's 2 pi r, so 2, double click my pi, r. So that pi has now appeared in my PowerPoint. So some units also need Greek symbols. So one of the smaller units you might come across is micro units. So micro is designated by the Greek letter mu which can also be found in this Greek letter menu. So I find my mu, there it is, and it even says next to it, mathematical small mu. So again, I double click to add it to my document, and I have my mu, which could be, for example, micrometers. So micrometers, micrometers. So I've got my micro and then my m for meters. Now we can also use symbols such as alpha and beta, um, which can be used for, for example, in biology, glucose structures. So again, find the Greek letter you want, so find alpha, and then that's my alpha glucose, I just type glucose. And again, find for my beta, double click the beta to make it appear, and just type the rest as um, as normal in your PowerPoint slide. And that's it. That's how we add symbols like degrees or Greek letters in PowerPoint. So in this symbol browser, you can see that there's actually plenty of other symbols in there. So if you find yourself needing any symbol, you'll now know where to look.